Welcome back to another installment of our top anime series. That's right. It's still October, which means we're going to carry on with our spooky anime videos. Well, I'm not sure this one is really spooky, but I know you well enough to know that you are super excited about today's topic. I sure am. Well then, why don't you read us in? Okay. They're cute, they're scary, and breaking their heart could come back to bite you. Today, we're going to go over our top 10 Monster Girl anime. Number five, interviews with monster girls. What happens when a monster-obsessed researcher meets a vampire, a snow woman, and a succubus? He starts learning all about them. After starting his new job as a science teacher, Takahashi discovers that this school has three monster girl students and a monster girl teacher. With these subjects close at hand, Takahashi does the only thing a dedicated researcher can, interview them but he quickly discovers there's more to them than the stories and rumors claim. Between struggling to fit in and dealing with adolescent pressures, the monster girls show Takahashi there's nothing more complicated than being a teenage monster girl. Interviews with Monster Girls is available on Funimation and Crunchyroll. Coming in at number four, To Love Ru. 16-year-old Rito can't bring himself to profess his love to Haruna, the girl he's been crushing on since junior high. His situation becomes infinitely more complicated when a mysterious naked girl crashes through the wall and into his bathtub. Rito discovers that the new girl named Lala is actually an alien princess and the heir to the most powerful empire in the galaxy. But despite his decidedly boring life, Lala soon decides that she wants to marry Rito. What follows is a fun and crazy story of the chaos that ensues after Lala's arrival and as is the case with most Monster Girl anime, this one is full of fun fan service. To Love Root is available on Crunchyroll, Hulu, and High Dive. Before we get to our top three Monster Girl anime, we wanted to remind you that these videos are brought to you by, well, viewers like you. If you have a few bucks to spare, we'd be eternally grateful if you could support us on Patreon. You get to view new videos before everyone else. And depending on how much you contribute, you can even be a producer, like this viewer. So head on over to our Patreon page and subscribe. We'd be thrilled if you did. Now, back to the video. Number three, Zombieland Saga. Sakura is a beautiful young girl who is determined to become the next pop idol. And it seems like she finally catches a break when she finds an incredible and talented group of girls. Together, they take the idol world by storm. Oh yeah, and did we mention that they're all dead? That's right, this anime is about a group of zombie girls living out their dreams of being pop idols. We get to watch the girls as they navigate the complexities of being teenagers, pop idols, and zombies all at the same time. This anime is full of fun music, engaging characters, and lots of laughs. Zombieland Saga is available on Crunchyroll and Funimation. Sliding in at number two, Rosario Vampire. Yokai Academy may seem like a normal boarding school, but when we take a closer look, we find that the school is attended exclusively by monsters. This isn't a problem for all of the monsters that attend, but things get a little crazy when an average teenager named Skune finds himself at the academy. By a twist of fate, Skune quickly makes friends with Mocha, a stunning, bubbly vampire girl. Intrigued by her beauty and her mysterious transformation, Skune decides to stay at the academy. In the coming weeks, Skune finds himself being pursued by a succubus, a witch, and a snow woman. As the girls compete for Skune's affection, we're treated to exciting fight scenes and a whole lot of fan service. In addition to being a super fun anime to watch, this anime is actually what inspired me to dye my hair pink. Rosario Vampire is available on Netflix, Hulu, and Funimation. Before we get to our number one pick, we've got a quick favor to ask. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And click the bell icon to receive notifications when we post new videos. Now, let's get back to it. Coming in at number one, Monster Musume. While his parents are away, Kimihito finds himself living a fairly ordinary life. That is, until he finds his house full of monster girls. One after another, harpies, centaurs, and mermaids move in as a part of Japan's monster integration program. 
However, he could never have imagined that every one of his new housemates would be gorgeous nymphomaniacs that are obsessed with him. Things are further complicated by the law, which states that all sexual interactions between species are forbidden. Unless, of course, they get married. What follows is a passionate, affectionate, and lust-filled series where the fan service tiptoes right up to the hentai line without crossing it. And let's be honest, that is why we watch these series. For fans of Monster Girls and fan service, there's something here for everyone. Monster Musume is available on Hulu, Crunchyroll, and High Dive. Well, that's it, anime fans! What did you think? Do you agree with our list? Or did we miss a really good Monster Girl anime that should have made the cut? If so, let us know in the comments. And don't forget to join our Patreon so you can contribute to our future videos. Until next time, you're watching AEG Studio.